Hi, Tamsin and Corey. And as you mentioned, late this evening, Governor Kathy Hochul announcing that the state will postpone elective surgeries at dozens of hospitals to free up hospital beds because they are expecting a continued rise in COVID cases. And that is one of the reasons for Mayor de Blasio's actions today. The mayor saying that it is this triple threat of the variants, the winter months and holiday gatherings as to why he is acting now to get this vaccine rule in place. But many New Yorkers are questioning the legality of such a sweeping mandate. It would be a first in the nation measure, an across the board vaccine mandate affecting the private sector. At least 184,000 businesses from Fortune 500 companies to the mom and pop shops that make up the fabric of city neighborhoods. It's completely unfair and it's completely unreasonable. Many were blindsided by the mayor's announcement first thing Monday on a national morning show. The National Federation of Independent Business is an advocacy group. Ashley Ranslow is their New York assistant director and says they're not against the vaccines, but against the added burden on business owners. Small businesses were absolutely crippled by the pandemic. And this policy imposes unwarranted and unprecedented burdens on the small business community to police their employees, to potentially police their customers. De Blasio has set December 27th as the date for the mandate to go into effect. That's just four days before he leaves office. Mayor-elect Eric Adams has not committed to following through on it, but de Blasio said he has discussed it with the incoming mayor. Our health commissioner believes fundamentally we need to be very aggressive and preemptive now. And that's why we made this decision. But what about the legalities of such a sweeping mandate? Andrew Lieb is an attorney who specializes in employment law, and he says there is precedent for this. We go back to 1905, and Jacobson v. Massachusetts says the government can have a vaccination mandate. But then the question we get into the weeds is, is a commissioner of health the right person to do that in New York City? And that's where all the lawsuits to date have really been going. De Blasio says he's confident his mandate will hold up. It will include all employees except those working remotely. The likelihood is on the general, you're going to get fired. Now, on the specific, we can have people saying, I have a sincerely held religious belief. We can see people saying, I have a disability. And they can be seeking an accommodation. And with just weeks left before his term ends, Mayor de Blasio was asked if this mandate is political posturing as he prepares for an unexpected rather run for governor. The mayor adamantly denied that and reiterated that vaccines are the best tool we have to fight COVID. In the newsroom, I'm Shirley Chan for PIX11 News. All right, Shirley, thank you. And you're going to be able to hear directly from Mayor de Blasio live tomorrow morning right here on PIX11. Yeah, he's going to be appearing on the PIX11 morning news at 9.15 a.m. And of course, we'll be sure to ask him all about his new and expanded mandates as well.